Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Today I am planning to show you that how you could insert these Toyota VVT engines pistons back in these piston holes if you have made that kind of small mistake that you have tried to take those pistons out in this down area. And now this is like this oil basement area and now there is one piston in 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 wrong position and and when I rotate this block a little bit we can look that in normally this piston should be in this kind of position in here. And, and now this piston is moving nicely in this piston piston hole, but this piston is like release, and in this Toyota VVT engines, pistons are really difficult to take out in this down area, like like this oil base area. I think that it could be possible that really difficult. Normally they go out in this cylinder head area, like in up area. And how I can insert this piston now back in this hole. And there is interesting thing that first I think that, that, that I need to broke those, those piston rings what are in here. There are three piston rings in there, but in, in Toyota way this is quite amazing. There is small hole in this uh, this shape that when I insert this piston in back in there and smoothly and gently I press this piston, it goes back in this piston hole. And little bit movement and 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 then this piston is in back in this hole. And this is really amazing cool info. And now this piston works in there nicely. And then I press down this connection rows and then we can check this other side. What is situation in here? And in here we can see those pistons. And they are in there. Okay, and this was the information how to fix these pistons back if if you have tried to take out those in wrong position and, and now these piston rings are, are still okay and when I I will show that you a little bit move and then I press that piston up and there is this now this piston is in here and then I can take carefully I press my hand in here, there is this first piston ring and then I insert my tool. I will show that how this happened. I first I insert my finger in there, I press this piston ring and then I have small that kind of screwdriver for it fits in there and there is trick that when you little bit move that up in here and then carefully this opens. Be carefully because this piston ring can can become broken. And then this final part in here. Okay. And this was information how to take also this piston ring out. Okay. And then we can pull out this full piston and little bit move, we rotate and pistons goes out. Okay. Thank you for watching and we continue.